So we are in the middle of Black History Month and starting tonight and going forward on this show, we want to introduce you to some of the states of our disunion, states where Americans are struggling to exercise their right to vote, to make their way out of poverty and to live free of government control of their wombs. We will cover the states facing the hardest struggles for democracy, the ones banning books and curtailing the right to choose and passing draconian anti-trans laws. But we'll also show you some of the states that are winning, where our democracy is working. But tonight we want to start with a state that unfortunately is still stuck in its white supremacist past, Mississippi, where a white supermajority in the heavily gerrymandered state house voted to create an entirely separate court system and expanded police force within the city of Jackson, the blackest city in America that would be appointed completely by white state officials. That means that the voters of Jackson, which is 80 percent black, do not get to elect the judges or prosecutors in this separate district, unlike what happens in every other part of the state. White officials currently hold all the statewide positions that would do the appointing, and no black official has ever held any of these positions. In fact, the last time a black Mississippian held statewide office was during Reconstruction. And the state, despite being one-third African-American, is gerrymandered to have exactly one black congressman, Representative and January 6th Committee Chairman Benny Thompson. Meanwhile, the Republican who introduced this draconian bill says it's because of the high crime rates and backlog of court cases in the county that contains Jackson, which did I mention is the state capital? Jackson's mayor has called the plan colonialist and racist and said it reminds him of apartheid. And joining me now is the mayor of Jackson, Chokwe uh, Antar Lumumba. Um, And Mayor Lumumba, please explain how it can be possible that the capital um, of Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, is, I think, to your point, going to be governed under apartheid style? Well, I think that uh, to speak to it honestly, uh, I'm I'm reflecting on the words of coach Dennis Green, who once said that they are who we thought they were. Uh, You know, as we've been calling out these clearly racist policies, uh, that has been done uh, much to the chagrin of state leadership, uh, saying that we're giving Mississippi a black eye. And to be clear, Uh, It is not our words that give Mississippi a black eye. It is the actions that they're taking, Uh, actions that will not allow or disenfranchise uh, voters in Jackson, in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, This this particular uh, law is fraught with constitutional violations, uh, equal protection. Uh, It is seeking to create a district which is the most densely white population populated area in the city of Jackson, Uh, in addition to uh, a police force or, or a militarized force uh, that does not have uh, direct uh, accountability to the residents. Uh, within the district that already exists, there have been numerous claims of, of uh, issues of, of police misconduct that are not being challenged, that are not being followed up on. Uh, and so there's a multitude of concerns here. It sounds like 1980 era Pretoria. 